Hi guys, this is Allison Pryor. We're back with our landscape painting, um, lesson three. And so what we're going to do now is we are going to, we have our water up here. We have our background trees and our distant trees in our sky and clouds. So next thing we're going to start, this is the painting we're doing, in case, in case you skipped over a couple of the lessons. But this is the painting we're doing. There we go. And what we're going to do next is we're going to do this bottom part. See, I did it in three stages. I did it in the top part up here, and then I did the water, and now I'm going to do the third part. So what I'm going to do is, uh, there's a lot of going on down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on an underpainting first, okay? So the underpainting is going to be the grass. And I'm not going to worry about the house or the trees or the flowers or nothing on the path. I'm just going to take my, my bristle brush. Okay, it's about a half an inch brush or size 12, it's bristle. And um, I'm going to tap into the same colors we did the trees. We're gonna go with some green and blue mixed together, a little bit of red. So we get nice dark green color, okay? You can use sap green, ultramarine blue, and cad red if you want. And get it on the green side, as long as it's a bit dark. See how nice that dark green is? There we go. That's good. I don't want you to think you're missing out on anything. Sometimes it might look like you are, but um, you don't. If if I somehow miss down here like this, and you think you're missing out, well, you can actually. You're actually not missing very much. It's the very bottom of the canvas. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, good job. That's a blooper. I should use that for a blooper. Okay, so let's just tap, 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 tap on our grass. Go back and get more paint if you need it. Mix up your colors that you like. Nice dark green. Yeah, so now you're down here, you get even darker. So, Because grass is lighter at the top and darker at the bottom. Now. And water is lighter at the top and darker at the bottom and the sky is darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. Isn't that cool? Isn't that the coolest thing you ever heard? So just tap, 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 tap. Yep. So we'll be putting highlights on it up here. We're putting a path in here. We're putting a house, trees. So don't worry about any of that right now. We'll work. You can put on your house first if you want. Then you got to work around it. So you can certainly do that. You can work around your house, but it wouldn't be any sense putting your tree on first. It'd be too hard to work around it. Your path you can put on first. You can put your house and your path on first if you like and work around it. I find this technique uh, for me is it works for me and it could be wrong. I don't know. Like other artists do certain things different ways. You can have a look at all the videos and see see what ways other people do things. And then when you can come up to your own solution, what works for you. That's how I did it. I looked at lots of videos and books and all kinds of stuff. And uh, and then I decided, you know, this is the way I want to do it. This is this is what works for me. Because there's no real, just I was going to say there's no real right or wrong ways, but it would be nice to know the color mixing and what colors go nice together and the complementary colors and, and, you know, get the used to the, some of the colors. And uh, all that helps to make sure... It will make your uh, painting prettier. Make your uh, painting as pretty as you can. Depending on what kind of paintings you want to do, too. Don't forget. I mean, you might be an abstract. I don't know, you know. And you're trying to pick up some techniques from all kinds of things. So I don't do abstracts. Uh, I don't... can't seem to get into it, you know. Just because you're an artist and you know how to do... I could do drawings, all kinds of things, but... I got to like what I do. You can't just do it for the sake of doing it. You gotta love it. You, you don't want to do this painting if this is not what you want to do. If you'd rather do an abstract, you know, you can look at this video, but you can also. Okay, but you can also, you know, not have to paint along with me. But if you want to paint along with me, you guys seem to be enjoying it. The ones who are painting along with me and. And I'm so happy to hear your stories and and you just share so much with me. I just love getting your 
emails and I love getting your paintings that I can look at and put them on my Facebook page. Uh, it's just so enjoyable hearing from you guys and this is what makes me want to keep going too so thank you thank you thank you very much so now we got all oh, just tap 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 see how nice and dark and green that is because you added blue we didn't add black we just added blue and a little bit of red and green and a nice pretty color it came out nice and earthy so there we go that's that much done now let me see what else we got to do now i have to refer back to my painting so there's the painting so what can we do next? Let me see. Well, really, I have to dry that before I can put the house on. Um, so what I'll do while I'm waiting for it to dry, we'll probably do some highlights on the back trees and a few things that we need to do there. So we'll move on to a few other things just to uh, let that dry a bit. So what we can do is we can take our, uh, let's take a medium brush this time. This one is smaller than the other one, the size 12. This one's probably size 8. Uh, and it's a bristle and you make it damp don't make it too wet I made it too wet a couple of times and, and it's uh... so what I'm going to do is take a bit of green and a bit of yellow make it lighter and we'll have to decide where we want the light to come in so let's see where the light is coming in on this painting it looks like the light is coming from the right because the shadow is behind those trees see the shadow coming over to the left of this coming over to behind the trees over towards the left and you see the right hand side of the trees are lighter that's where the lights coming in so we'll and then light it off over here I got a shadow there now sorry so the light hit over there in the corner and hitting off the trees so we'll hit the, the light from on the right side of the trees so here's the right side of the trees maybe the light hit over here so just tap on that right side of that tree. Tap, tap, tap very gently, very light. There we go. Just on that light side and whatever's left over in your brush, you can move it around a little bit. Now we'll do it again. Good. And we'll try a little bit here, maybe a bit of light over on this side. Just over here on the side. And on this side, I'm tapping very gently. I'm not uh, pushing very hard at all. And this one here, I'm going to lighten up a little bit more. I wonder how far down i got to go with that. Let's see. See? I forgot already. Okay, we have some smaller bushes in front of those big trees. We'll make them look like they're behind these smaller bushes in front. So let's just do the top side here. Come down about halfway. And we'll do this one in here. Just the right side. The right side on the right side good clean off your brush really good and just whatever is left on your brush just move that paint around just a little bit so that the back side of your tree don't look flat and doesn't look like there's you know you want some some kind of shapes there okay so good 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 now hopefully you can see that go this camera tends to focus a bit too much and I I don't know how to stop it so hopefully you can see that all right now what we'll do is we will put the little bushes in the front of those trees so we'll just uh, get a little bit of darker paint and let's go with the uh, green a little bit of blue a little bit of red again we'll darken that up a little bit just so we can just separate those trees from the bushes in the front and then we'll highlight those bushes a little bit then just tap 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 just a few little bushes in the front just tap 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 a lot of this painting is just tap 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 it's not too hard all right so we just take those tree those bushes and tap them in there tap 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 Tap, 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 that's good. Now, all you got to do now is take some yellow and on your dirty brush and tap it off in your tissue. We don't want too much. And just put a little bit of highlight on top of those bushes you just did. A little bit of yellow. You can make even some colors if you want. You can make little, little red bushes if you like. You can make little 
yellow bushes if you like. Just tap on the very top, that's all. The very, very top. Whoops. Okay. That's all right. That's okay. Here we go. So we'll just tap on some color. Even a little bit of white is brightens up a little bit too. So I'm just changing the picture a little bit now because I want to I want to put a few little colors in there. So just put a little bit of color. You don't need much. Just tap whatever's left over on your brush. Just tap on the bottom of those bushes. Come across. Add a little bit of yellows if you want. There we go. Just to bring it all together. Just a little bit of color. That's all. So what we're going to do now is... Um, well, we got into that for 10 minutes. Okay, we'll just go another five minutes or so. So what we'll do is we will tap on some bushes, green and blue again with the red, get the dark color, and tap on, um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so we'll just tap on some of these nice little bushes here in the front, how's that? Okay, so they're on the other side of the house. So we'll think our house is going around here and our, our uh, path is coming out around here. So we'll say around here. So take your, take your brush and a bit of green and blue and just put uh, some of these little tap, tap, tap again. So just bring up that grass that you already have there. Bring it up a little bit in little round bushes. Will you turn them into some flowers and different things that you want there? Tap the bottom of that right into your grass. That's it. That's it. Tap, 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 tap. Now you get some little nice little. And over on the other side of the house, you got a few little trees there. So go, keep going with the blue and the red and the green. So you got those bushes done, and the house is there. So on the side of the house, sorry about that, guys. On the side of the house, you'll see some trees over there. So let's put a few little trees over there and we will leave a little space for our house because we can always fill it in. Well, let's just put a little few trees in here. So just tap, tap, a few little trees. Just tap. That's it. We don't need much there. Good. Now we'll do a few little flowers on here and then when I come back, what we'll do is... Did we miss that? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's do that again. Okay, so to put a few little trees there, you just use your blue and green and red and then tap, tap, and tap. Okay? That's all. Sorry about that. I'm telling you. I might be, might be able to get the, to do this full through without getting my camera to uh, move on me. So, okay. Now, so take the same small bristle brush take some different colors so we'll, let's start off with some red and just tap on top of those bushes you just made just tap on I say add a little bit of white to your red and brighten it up how about that good and then put some more here and here we'll, we'll spread them out so that you can leave some room for other colors and here and here good so that's a few little flowers there. You just tap very gently with your... Right, and then you can put some little yellow. Let's put uh, some green bushes in between that. So you got green here. Good. Little green bushes. Nice. Good. And then you can put some yellow in there if you like. Some yellow next to the red. Probably around here. So just put in a few colors, whatever you want there you can put in, okay? And so then you can blend all that just by getting your green and red and blue. And just blend that in there and we'll, we'll come back and we'll fix the grass after we tap that in. Tap it in, tap, 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 right underneath your flowers just to get that to look like it's in with the grass. Okay, and we'll do some more work when we come back. So I will see you uh, in the next video when we finish uh, this landscape. Happy painting.